what is your favorite thing about being sisters? Having a best friend, yeah, soulmate. We're always together forever for All, the world. Exactly. Like even if the whole world is against us, yeah, we have, like we have each other. So weird. It's like it's such a weird feeling, isn't it? So lucky. Even when I came out of Love Island and certain things were happening, and there was there was things that sometimes that were really horrible that were like about to hit the press or this or that. In moments like that, I always had Mandy, and I always yeah. feel like if I've got Mandy, fuck everything. Like you don't really go through anything alone, and even if you are going through it alone, you always have someone by your side in your corner. Yeah, and I think that's a big thing. Like you know, I feel kind of sad actually in a way where people, a lot of people aren't like lucky enough to have that. Do you know what I mean? But but that's why friends are so important as well because you can find your sort of like. But yeah, but Maddie, a lot of people have like friendships or best friends that are almost like sisters. Yes, that's what I mean. The reason, the most amazing thing that we have each other, that we're like best friends, but also in a way it's bad in the sense that we don't go out and get that through friends as much. Yeah. I true. mean, that's a, no, that's not true though because we've got our cousin and we've got Sadaba. Yeah. So we've got those two. But well, we're not as, you know, eager to find new friends yeah. and make new friends is because we were kind of like, oh, yeah. who's the fuck we've got each other. All our memories... And Sarab, but Sarab was the same because Sarab has got us and her sister uh, she doesn't feel the need either do you know what I mean it's like people like that when they've when they've got best um, friends but I mean sister. our cousin Golly she's got us and she, well, it's just the same we're like her sisters yeah but um, the fact that all our memories are the same as well I love yeah. that like everything we've been through together I know it's the same memories I know because we don't ever do anything apart so like all our friends have been the same so every time we went out growing yeah. up was the same places so all our memories are the same which is it's just like going through life not alone yeah you're just going through life with someone yeah you know, I think that's a lot of a lot of the reason why it's kind of weird actually I thought about this before a lot of the reason why people are so overly obsessed with finding a romantic partner and a soulmate is because people actually don't like the idea of going through through life alone. solo alone but me and you have never had that issue we've always had each other but we're still so obsessed with finding it. I always wonder why like yeah. why are we so boy crazy trying to find like because we're just boy crazy like trying to find that soulmate we want that happy ever after we want that we're hopeless romantics but why when we have each other like maybe we grew up watching too much Disney yeah I don't want to play Disney for, for my, my child no, no way growing up to think that like Happily ever after is having your Prince Charming no, no. my baby's gonna be like six years old I'm gonna play Megan the Stallion <laughs> <laughs> okay what is one thing you can't live without? And I'm going to go with thing, not like family or something like thing. a material thing. Moisturizer. You can't live without moisturizer. I can't live without moisturizing my face. I moisturize yeah. my face like, like 10 times a day. I, think it, I know what you mean, but sometimes I get really bad with it. Like overly used. And I'm, oh, no, as in like I don't use it and I'm really uncomfortable because my face is so dry, but I'm feeling too lazy to go to the other room and put it on. I never ever have that I can't be like I come out the shower after two seconds I've got moisturizer on really? straight away I'm terrible. apparently I'm... that's the best thing to do I'm gonna lazy to actually that. not put it on for a yeah, while I mean I get a lot a lot of compliments yeah. on my skin a lot I used to as well before I went to Dubai now my skin's fucked I mean I get so much I mean touch wood good touch so me. many times every time I go out everywhere I go good so and I, maybe it's good don't put moisturizer on so much maybe yeah, Anna's doing the right thing I'm being lazy when I don't do it because I'm like I can feel my face so dry I, I just, hate that feeling though yeah I know it's so uncomfortable but I'm that lazy it's like I can't be bothered to go and put it on yeah so for me that's I walk around every day with a small moisturizer in my handbag mm. that's how obsessed I am with moisturizing my face what can I not live without I'm trying to think you're like, a hairbrush girl yeah, my hairbrush. This bitch got a hairbrush everywhere. Yeah, fucking yeah, it's I don't true. need to bring a hairbrush anywhere. Yeah, I can't live without it. It'd be something to do with hair. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say extensions, but I have. Lived, I mean, I can't live without my clippings or some like some kind of hair extensions. But I'd say maybe brush. Yeah, brush. She's always got these little mini ones. She pulls it out of fucking God knows where. It's always there. It's always. Even with a tiny bag, always. she just takes out a little brush. Like I even cut one here. I don't know where it's gone. Like I was like, we have to have one in our podcast studio. But yeah, I think you're right. You said it for me, hairbrush. But you know, recently, I'm really loving like just liquid blush. Oh, liquid blush is a vibe. Yeah. So I have actually just ordered something, okay, online. And it's like a cream blush. Um, it's arrived at Gingerbeard's family house right now. I get my parcels delivered there because shit be missing in my 
lovely private gated apartment building for some reason that they fucking just chuck it on the side of the road. That's right. So I get it delivered to his family's house. But anyway, if it's really good, I'll let you guys know what it is. Okay, cool. I mean, the one I've been re- using recently is called is Rare Beauty, the Selena Gomez brand. Yeah. And it's really good. Really good. The one I've ordered is, is from, I don't even know the name. I saw some girl promote it. She wasn't promoting it, sorry. She was just using it. Jordan Tatash, you know, something like that. Anyway, I can't wait to use it because in the video, it looked insane. Really? Yeah. Okay, next one. Will you ever show Ginger Beard and Cowslick love your podcast so much? 